Hi everyone, I'm Gertie and we're back today with the Jane Set Sew Along. So as you can see, I'm wearing one of the jumpsuits and the mannequin is wearing one as well. This is a super stretchy, very fitted jumpsuit and it's based on a vintage garment from the 50s. And I was lucky enough to be able to borrow one um, to use as inspiration from a costume house. And it was really cool being able to see all the details, the stretch fabric, the built-in bra, the boning, and all of those details I took and translated into this pattern. So today I wanna to talk a little bit more about fitting and size adjustments. So in the last video, and if you missed it, do go back and check it out because I talk about how to measure yourself and how to pick your size. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you some pattern adjustments. I'm working um, with a model who is a 14D in the bust, a 16 in the waist, and a 16 in the hip. And she's also a little um, longer in the torso or in the, um, the crotch length measurement than the pattern is. Um, so we're gonna look at those measurements and make adjustments to the pattern, okay? So waist width adjustments and also how to lengthen and shorten the crotch. So let's go take a look at those pattern pieces. Okay, hi everyone, we're back and we're looking at our pattern pieces flat on the table here. You'll see I have the bodice side back and the bodice side front for the D cup. I also wanna show you something on the pant. So I have the pant back here. What we're gonna be doing for this model is adding half an inch at each side seam. And the reason for that is that she is a 14 at the bust. She's a 14D at the bust, so we've cut out the D cup. But at the waist, she measures um, a 16 and also a 16 at the hip. Okay, so I want you to look real quick at the pant here. If you look between the 14 and the 16, there's half an inch between each size. And that um, is the same for all of these sizes here. Between the two and the four, there's half an inch and so on. That's because there's a two inch grade between each side size, excuse me. So, but if you look on the bodice pattern piece, there's only a quarter inch between sizes. And the reason for that is that the rest of that excess in the jump between sizes is divided between the princess seams. Because remember, you also have front and back princess seams on the bodice. It's like a panel bodice. But instead of adjusting the princess seams, which I really don't like to do if I'm adding width, I like to add it at the side seams if possible to retain the integrity of the princess seam as much as possible. I'm gonna add that full half an inch to each side seam. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have a ruler. I really like these clear gridded rulers for making pattern adjustments. I have a Sharpie so that you can see it, but I would normally use a pencil. Okay, I'm gonna, at the waistline, I want to extend the 14 line out half an inch and then make a little vertical tick mark like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my ruler at the 14 at the underarm and pivot my ruler out to that little vertical hatch mark I made and connect those two lines. Okay, so that would be my new cutting line. And anytime you make an adjustment like that, you wanna make sure that you have your matching notch and you're gonna take it over and make sure that it is on your cutting line as well because you wanna retain all your notches. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. I am going to, from my size 14, I'm going to extend out half an inch, make a little tick mark right there. I'm going to draw a line from the 14 underarm to my little tick mark at the waist. I'm gonna make sure that my notch extends out to my new seam. And that's it. So you can see I have gained at the waist a full half an inch at front and back. So that's an inch per side seam. I have another side seam on the other side of the body, so that will add up to two inches overall, and that's the two inches between the size 14 and the size 16. I also want you to take a look on the bodice. We have length adjustment lines on the bodice pieces, and there are length adjustment lines on all four of the bodice pieces. If you are tall, if you have a long torso, or if you're petite and have a short torso, you may need to make length adjustments on your bodice. If you're short, it's very easy to make these adjustments. If you're taking away length, you're gonna take a little tuck straight across that line, tape it down, get rid of as much excess length as you need to in that tuck, tape it down, do the same thing on all four pattern pieces. 
If you're tall and you need to gain length in the torso, you're gonna cut across the length adjustment line, slash it apart, so spread it, sorry, slash first, then spread. You can put some new paper behind the slash, tape it down, and then reconnect the um, lines on the side of the pattern piece, okay? And that will gain you that length that you need. So speaking of length adjustments, we're also gonna be doing a crotch length adjustment for this model. So I'm gonna take a look at the pant back. Okay, so you can see this is the pant back. This right here is the crotch curve, all right? So that is half of that measurement, that crotch length measurement we took. That's what we were measuring. Remember, it kind of went in a U shape. So the front would um, form the other half of that U. We're just gonna focus on the back for now. You can see that there is a length adjustment line on the pant as well. If you're long in the, in, the, uh, in the torso and in the hip, you could just slash that all the way across. I just need to gain length for her in the crotch, okay? So I really want length on this side, but not on that side. So this means that I'm going to cut across that line at the crotch, but I'm gonna leave a little hinge at the hip, at the size 16. So I'm not gonna cut all the way to that 16 line. So the hinge means I can open it up here, but it will still be connected at the hip. I'm gonna gain, uh, I wanna gain an inch in the crotch length on the front and back. So what I'm gonna do is just slash this until there's an inch between those pieces. And look, that's exactly an inch. I'm gonna put paper behind there, tape it down, and then I'm gonna just smooth out that line. So I have a smooth cutting line right there. And that will gain her an inch in the crotch, in the back crotch here, but it doesn't change the out seam. So this will still sew smoothly to the side seam of the pant front. I'm also gonna make this change for her in the front because she needed to gain two inches total in the crotch length, and I wanna divide it between the front and back. And I don't really know if that's exactly what I need, but I'm going to make a muslin to make sure that that, is, um, that that looks right on her body. Okay, so those are bodice width adjustments and crotch length adjustments. And next we're gonna talk about making a muslin.